G'day there, Jeff Phillips here with another episode of Inkscape for Teachers. This one is a little bit specialised, uh, perhaps I'm obsessing about this rounded corners uh, procedure, but uh, here's another way of doing it by measuring a radius that you want for the rounded corner. As you can see from these circles here, you can set that uh, to a certain radius, and that uh, is one way of describing how much of a round you put on each corner if we start with a, an object with sharp corners like that. So let me uh, duplicate just that triangle, Control D, and drag it down to here, and I'll show you how we do it. First thing is to produce an ellipse or a circle, rather using the ellipses tool, Control Shift and drag, and perhaps put a fill in it, might be an aqua fill, and I want to make that, uh, let's say I wanted a rounded corner of, um, oh, let's say 8 millimetres, make it a bit different, 8 millimetres diameter circle is a measure of the rounded circle or a 4, four millimetre radius. I've got the uh, circle selected, selection tool, and lock down the proportions to be constrained as they are. And let's make that 8 and enter, and there's a circle that. Uh, we can use to describe the, right, the rounding that we want. Now I'm going to control C to put that circle on the clipboard. I'll drag the first one into this corner. You actually see it snapping there. I'll turn the snapping tools off to start with. Zoom in and actually you can see that um, the black borders are a bit uh, clashing a bit. I think that's probably pretty good but what I'll do is I'll change the alpha channel. That changes the fill not the border, so if I drag that down to about there and the border, shift click red that uh, shows me a difference, now that's in a pretty good position you see it's overlapping a little bit there but I'm not too worried about that now I'll actually control C that circle, I should have waited till this point now I'll come up to another corner, control V zoom in, control and mouse wheel, I'm going to drag that to sit in the corner like that, that's pretty good. And the final corner, zoom in, control V, perhaps a bit more. Oops, I'll just move the center of the circle, that doesn't matter, and drag it to about there. So you can see there I've got the circles indicating where I want the new borders or part of the circle. The circumference shows where I want the new border to go. Now before I start the rounding, I'm going to duplicate that yellow triangle, click on it. Control D, I'll give it a different colour, perhaps green, and look I'll make it uh, a whole lot fainter, border and interior, so I'll use the opacity, drop it down to about 30%, that'll do, and I'll send it to the back. So I can't see it now, but I will when I start to round the corners. Now let's pick on this corner first, if I zoom in, I don't want to select the circle, actually I want to select the triangle, so I click on that, it's selected. Then change the node tool, which is an N, and double click where the circle hits the border of the triangle, in the two positions there. See the two new nodes are created. I'm going to click on the corner, the original sharp corner, with the node tool, press delete. You can see that rounds the corner to some extent. But now these handles appear, I'm going to drag this back. And the reason for the triangle underneath that we duplicated before is I can snap that this, to this guide not doing it because I need to turn my snapping tools on and ensure that snap to paths is on and see it's snapping onto the path there so it's a real tangent or pretty close to a tangent if I move this one here again snap it there, it's pretty good too but keep moving up you know maybe half, two thirds of the way you can see I'm getting close actually just moving that one alone was pretty good normally it's a bit of both and there we go, that's a, that's a pretty good fit. Better than the one I did in practice. I'll mouse wheel and zoom out. Just to scroll a bit quicker. And zoom in on this corner. Again, double click. Actually, that's how I've selected the circle. So, back to F1. Click the yellow triangle. Now N for the node tool. Now I can double click there. I'm actually putting a point on the triangle at the circle. The same thing here. You can see there, 
on the triangle because uh, this, if there's a circle selected the marquee would be about around the circle not around the, this area here again click on the sharp corner delete and I'll drag this down perhaps halfway to start with this way halfway keep going maybe this one a bit more and that's actually another good one I'm in good form for once I'll go down uh, scroll in uh, it's uh, this big corner up here of course you can see I've still got the yellow selected because of the marquee out here so I'll try the node tool again here double click, oh that's ok and double click there click on the original corner, delete and move this one down a bit this one down a bit up to there, maybe this one back a bit more again as I said in red hot form today click on the selection tool or pan out and you can see that looks pretty good I'll click on the original or the duplicated uh, shape with the sharp corners delete that click on the circle, shift click to select more than one because I don't need those now and delete you can see that's a pretty neat job at rounding the corners so for those technically minded uh, among you there's another Inkscape technique, but if nothing else it shows you a little bit about the use of the node tool on paths. Once again, thanks for your attention. See you next time.